Hello friends and welcome. It's another day and another villager hunt, this time with a twist. But before we jump into that, I wanted to give you the rundown of the island villagers because there have been some changes. I have accidentally auto-filled several times. So our first can't sit villager Chops moved out and then Gaston moved in. So we basically traded out one mustache man for another. Then Tammy, our first peppy moved out and Bubbles moved in, but at least she looks cute in her little grave dress. And now Agnes has moved out, which I'm a little sad about because I love Agnes and I do want to pick for this island, but she's already on my husband's island, so I'm looking for Maggie instead. So to give you a reminder of the villagers I'm searching for, I'm looking for Maggie, Kyle, my birthday twin, Static, and then my bestie, Bam. Those are the four we're hunting for. But I thought today we'd do something a little different with this hunt and do villager hunt bingo Wilbur edition. We all know and love our dear friend Wilbur, but sometimes Wilbur can be a little mean to us. Okay, maybe not mean, but he definitely likes to play tricks on us. If you've seen my past villager hunts, you know. So I thought we'd use that to our advantage, or I guess maybe our disadvantage, who knows, and make a game out of it. So here's my bingo board. If you've seen my past hunts, you know that Wilbur loves a theme. So every square on this board matches a particular theme we have seen in a past hunt. Starting in the top left corner, we have Al. This gorilla was relentless in my last villager hunt. Please go check out that video, the most chaotic villager hunt ever if you have not seen it. He desperately wanted to come to the island. This could be his chance, I hope not, but it's a possibility. Next, we have villagers with facial hair. Wilbur had a theme where he was sending me to lots of facial haired villagers, such as Harry, Limburg, any villager that has a beard or a mustache, we're gonna mark this square. Next is pigs. I know I'm looking for a pig right now, but there was a moment where I swore I never wanted to see any more pigs on any other hunt. Wilbur was just sending me way too many. Next is repeat villagers. Now I know everyone has repeat villagers when they go on hunts, but Wilbur likes to send me to the same villager over and over and over again. The middle square is Wilbur scratching. There was one villager hunt where poor Wilbur must have had a rash or something because he would not stop scratching. So if we catch him doing that on this hunt, we're gonna mark this square down. Now since Wilbur loves a theme, he has considered doing party planning and a superhero party was the first to come to his mind. So if we find a villager that is dressed as a superhero such as Mira or Agent S, we're gonna mark this down. Next is villagers with hair. And I don't mean the lions or the horses or the goats with the cute little tuft of hair on the top of their head. No, I mean the villagers with the full on bob haircut, like Gloria, Rhonda. This is not natural on any animal, I am sorry. Next up is Poppy. We spent hundreds and hundreds of tickets looking for her for my Four Seasons Island of Season, and then she just decided to show her face several times now for the hunt for this island, so we're adding her to the list. And finally, the last square, the scariest villager in the game, in my opinion, is Zucker. He creeps me out so much. He is literally walking, talking food. Oh boy, this could be a mistake. So we're gonna play this out like the regular game. If we get three across, vertical or diagonal, we have to take the villager that we get bingo on. Otherwise, if we find our dreamy, we're taking them game over. But I'm a little afraid we could end up with a villager we don't want. It'll be temporary, but you never know. All right, let's see who we're gonna find. Orville, I'm excited for this hunt. What is Wilbur gonna do for us today? We're making a game of his tricks here, Orville. But I'm hoping that he doesn't just, you know, give us the villager we're searching for on the first ticket, cause that would just ruin our whole plan. Let's see what Wilbur has in store for us today. Wilbur, my buddy, my pal, what kind of tricks do you have up your sleeve? Who is the villager for our first ticket? Will we be filling a bingo square? or not. Who is here? Oh, it's Vivian. She's so, so cute. I do love Vivian a lot. She's a wolf, like Kyle. I'm looking for Kyle. I actually had made a happy home paradise for Vivian and Kyle. I think they'd be a really cute couple together. Ticket number two, Wilbur. Who's on this island? Who did you see here? Who is this? Oh my goodness. Is this, what's your name? Spike? He is a villager with hair, but that doesn't count because it is not the crazy bob cut. That kind of hair is like a little tuft of hair. I'm okay with that kind of hair. We're talking full on bob cut. So still no bingo square yet. Apple Island, all right. Who's on Apple Island here, Wilbur? Anyone that is good or that will fill up one of the bingo slots? Let's see who we have. Oh, I saw some green. Who is this? Oh no. Okay, this is a little bit debatable here. Would you consider Big Top to be a superhero? I mean, he's dressed in costume. Excuse me, I'm sorry, was I in your way? <laughs> he's very cute. Is Big Top though a superhero? Is he more, or is he more dressed up like a performer, like Evil Knievel and stuff like that? 
I mean, he's probably more dressed up like a performer. It's questionable. It's questionable. I don't know. Does that count as a square or not? Would you consider yourself a superhero here, Big Top? <laughs> this one's tough. I would consider the fact that his name is Big Top. He's probably more of an entertainer than a superhero. I would consider more like Kid Cat and Rocket and Agent S to maybe be more like superhero themed. It's the glasses too. It looks more like he's going to be taking his motorcycle and leaping over some monster trucks or something like that. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to count it. I don't know. It's debatable. Let me know in the comments if you think I should have counted that as a superhero costume. It may be. To a climbing island. All right. Gotta love these climbing islands. I do enjoy them, actually, to see who's at the top. The suspense of climbing and seeing the villager. Oh, I see blue feet. Who is this? It's a pig. Not a pig I'm looking for. What is your name? Hugh? You're cute, and you know what? He's a pig. So there we have a bingo square <laughs> right there. Pigs, of course. Wilbur likes to send me to pigs, so there's one square filled. All right, Wilbur, who is here on this island? My guard is up. I'm afraid it's going to be Al or Zucker around the corner here. Who is this? Please don't be Al or Zucker. <laughs> who do we have? Oh, OK, it's a koala. Who is this? Is this mm, Ozzy, maybe? I'm not sure. I could totally be wrong. Hello, who are you? It is Ozzy. He's very cute. All right, let's go to the next island. Any scratching going on here, Wilbur? No, the rash is cleared. All right. Ooh, another climbing island. Who's gonna be on this island? Let's make our way up the mountain. Do I see any feet? I see blue feet. Oh, is this Bam? Is this Bam? No, oh my gosh, I got excited. I saw blue feet and I thought it was Bam. It's Bruce, another cute little deer, the other blue deer in this game. He's adorable. Not the blue deer I'm looking for though, but I got super excited for a second. <laughs> Bruce, if you know where Bam is, please let him know. I am looking for him. He's my bestie. I need to find him. Who's here? Is Bam going to be on this island maybe? Can we see? Oh, nope. It's Cephalobot. I don't mind the robot villagers at all. I have grown rather attached to Sprocket, who is currently on the island. I know he's not staying, but I think they're cute. I definitely do. Maybe I can do a little science fiction or futuristic type of island someday and include them all on there. Okay, Wilbur, you're being rather tame today. Maybe you want to play along too. It's a horse. It's Ed. Hello, Ed. He's cute, but not who we're looking for and will not fill a square. So we're going to leave you here behind, Ed, but enjoy your time out here. Have fun. Any scratching? No, all right. I don't want to miss if he's scratching because I know that, that will count and that's the center square. So that could give us a good chance for a bingo there. Not that I'm looking for a bingo. I mean, obviously I want to find our dreamies, but you know, it's fun to play along. If we get one of the bingos and we have to take the next villager, then so be it. Who's going to be here, Wilbur? Who is it going to be? I'm excited and also nervous. Who is it? Oh, who is this? Is it Muffy? Hello, Muffy. She was on the horror themed island. She's very cute. I'm actually a little sad that I'm not doing a horror themed island this year. I loved my horror theme island. I had so much fun making that and I do miss Muffy. She was a perfect fit for the island. But you know, hey, I'm working on this island. It's coming together. My next theme, I definitely think I'm going to do a Disney theme. I am not stopping this game. I love this game way too much. I know some people are experiencing burnout with this game. That's not me. I love this game. I pretty much play it every day. I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. Wilbur, how has your day been going? Have you been doing well? It's been a while since I've seen you. It's been a while since I've done a villager hunt. Who do we have here? Oh, another villager that I've had on my horror movie themed island. Hello, Rodeo. How are you? He played the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on my horror movie themed island. He's very cute, adorable. He also has some hair, but I would not count that as a bob cut. It's just a little tuft of hair covering his red eyes there. Who is here on this island? Where is the villager? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Seriously, Wilbur has found his theme. He's picked his theme. It is villagers that were on my horror movie themed island and he wants me to be sad about. That's what it is. Hello, Lucky. I've missed you too. He's so cute. He was so perfect on my horror themed island. I love him. Ugh, Wilbur. He had to find it. He had to find a theme and he found it. He found his theme. His theme is villagers from my past island that I miss so dearly. I def oh, a scratch, a scratch. There we go, I saw it. Did you all see it? It was there. <laughs> the middle square on our bingo card is now filled. If we find a villager with hair on the next island, oh no. 
Please, Wilbur, look into my eyes. I am not ready to end this hunt quite yet. Do not give me a villager with hair on the next island. Please do not give me a villager with hair. Orville, I don't think Wilbur missed me. I think he wants to end the hunt rather early because I'm very fearful that this next villager is going to fill up our bingo line. I'm hoping that. I would like to have a little bit of a longer hunt. I enjoy spending time with Wilbur. I do, and you as well. But I don't know. I'm thinking he's... Being extra, extra cruel today. Oh no, it's a climbing island. Wilbur, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm sure you saw the villager from the sky. I'm sure you know who's up there. Are you being cruel? Oh, I saw... Wait a minute. Who is that? Was that Klaus? Who is it? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, goodness. Mmm. Okay. Is that his hair or is that a headpiece? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. But I'm not sure. I'm really on the fence. Is that more of a headpiece? Like a gold headpiece? Let's zoom in a bit here. What is that? Alright, those are curls. Does that count as a villager with hair? Oh no. Wilbur. Wilbur. No. 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 He was on my winter island of Glacia before, and he sparked up a little romance with Aurora the penguin. It counts as hair. It, I guess it counts as a villager with hair, but it's not the bob haircut. I specifically said the bob haircut. Is it cheating? Is it totally cheating if I pass him? It's questionable, right? Is it questionable? Is this the same like it was with Big Top? Are some of you screaming at me right now in the comments saying, no, are you crazy? This completely counts as a villager with hair. But I specifically said the bob haircut. I did. You know what? Hey, it's it. I'm playing the game. It's my rules. He does not have a bobbed haircut. We have not been villager hunting for that long. I'm passing him up. He doesn't count. He doesn't count. I may totally be cheating here, but he doesn't. Another another itch. Wilbur, we already filled that square. You don't need to scratch anymore. Or has the rash returned? Orville, Wilbur's being mean to me. He's being mean to me. <laughs> I don't think that counts. I'm not cheating. It doesn't count. Klaus doesn't count as a villager with a bob haircut. It's just, he does have hair. He probably should have counted. He probably should have, but I said bob haircut, so he doesn't count. Oh boy. Watch, this next villager is gonna have a bob haircut because Wilbur's just gonna say, oh sure, you want, I'm gonna make it crystal clear to you that this is the villager you're taking. Oh boy. Wilbur, who is it? I'm scared, I'm very scared. I'm afraid of who this is. Who are we gonna have here? All right. Walking carefully and cautiously. I'm very scared. If it's a bob haircut villager. Okay, no, it's not. This is Buzz. Hello. Bamboo Island. All right. You know what I always say in my villager hunts about Bamboo Island. Who would be good to find on this island? And I have not found him yet on a Bamboo Island. But my bestie Bam, for sure. I think Bamboo Island would be great for him. But this is not Bam. Groucho, hello. See you around. On to the next island. All right, Wilbur, take me to the next one. Oh, wow. I am just so in your face here. Maybe this is why you like to play tricks on me, because I just get right in your bubble. I just get right in your personal space. I have no boundaries, apparently. I apologize. Take me to the next island, please. I am scared of who is on this island. I do have to say though, these villager hunts, I love them. I have grown to love Wilbur so much because of these hunts. My favorite NPC has always been Orville and it still is Orville, but Wilbur was never really kind of in my top list of favorite NPCs. Although because of these villager hunts, he is climbing the charts for sure. I would say he is absolutely my second favorite NPC behind Orville. I still love Orville so much, but Wilbur is just, he's so cute. I love you, Wilbur, I do. Please treat me kind on this next island. Please, who is this? Oh, there's Chow. Oh, Wilbur, I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. It's Money Rock Island, okay. Look, it's lucky Money Rock Island, right? It's gonna be a lucky Money Rock Island because the villager we're looking for, no, it's Fang. He's so cute though, he was on my winter island. Oh, a climbing island, of course. I'm afraid. Can I see anybody up there? Oh, I can. Who is that? That's a bird. Okay, I don't need to go up there. That doesn't fill any squares. <laughs> Look at him. He's just kind of chilling up there. All right, good. No harm done with that one. All right, on to the next island. It's going to be this one. This is the island that we're going to find the villager we're looking for. It's going to be Bam, hopefully, on this island. We're going to find him. He's going to be here. He's not here. Oh, Molly. She's so cute. 
I love her. She was on my Four Seasons Island as well as my Spring Island. So adorable. Definitely a top tier villager for me personally. So cute. Molly, I missed you. Wilbur, who's here? I'm afraid. Who is gonna be on this island? Is that Twiggy? I think that's Twiggy. Wow, she looks angry. I am sorry I stepped foot on this island. Apparently she wants some alone time. I will just leave you be on this island. I apologize. Wilbur, take me off this island. She doesn't seem happy that I'm here. Bamboo Island! Another opportunity for Bam to show his face. This could be the one. This could be the day where I finally find Bam on a bamboo island. Oh my god, I saw the blue and for a second I completely, my heart just skipped. Hello, Mo. Those are such big eyes you have. Wow, even bigger. <laughs> He's cute though. Is Bam on this island maybe? This is the one. I have a feeling this is the island that Bam is on because I always know that my feelings are always correct. That's not Bam though. <laughs> there is a theme though. Wilbur has definitely found his theme. It is taking me to villagers from my horror themed island. Oh my goodness. Hello, Roscoe. You're so cute. Wilbur, this is it. This is the island. For sure, this is the island. This is Money Rock Island. Oh, no. 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 Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. She has the full on bob haircut. That's bingo. That's bingo right there. Oh, she's frightening. She's frightening! I'm sure some people love her. I'm sure. She would be really- I think she'd be great on a horror-themed island. But she'll be coming to a city countryside island? Oh my goodness. Ah! She's gonna give me nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares on this island. Maybe she'll be my new favorite. Maybe I'll have to say, move over, Bam. Naomi is taking your spot as my favorite villager. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's demanding I ask her. She knows. She knows we've made bingo and it is time. Oh gosh. <sighs> Come to my island. Ugh. I wanted to bring Bam home. I wanted to find Kyle or Static. I have plans for all of those villagers. Oh yeah. You won't regret it, but I might. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Naomi. And all the Naomi fans out there. Like I said, I'm sure she's lovely. This villager hunt was a mistake. It was a total mistake to do villager hunt bingo. But hey, if you enjoyed the hunt, please let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I hope you are having an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.